Yeah. Um, there was another part I wanted to ask you about. This is a little bit off topic. It was about poker. I, I was curious to know that. I was curious to find out that you played a little bit of poker. I was wondering how that happened and, and why you chose poker. That was like six, seven years ago, maybe even more. I injured my hand quite badly. <laughs> I was not able to move the hand. Like I still don't have the full feeling recovered really? with my left hand. Yeah, what, I. What was it? What was the injury? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the uh, one uh, drunk night, <laughs> <laughs> I cut myself. <laughs> oh no! Uh, yeah, and like it was <laughs> quite a good night, but yeah, that was the bad side of it. And yeah, I lost the absolute feeling on the hand. I couldn't move it. After time, like after a few months, I like you can move it little, little, little. And now I can move it absolutely fine, but I still don't have feeling back at least not absolutely 100 percent like maybe it's it's 70 percent feeling back so yeah i had to well couldn't play with age of empress anymore cannot play with only one hand and good friend of mine hiko maybe you saw him he was playing age of empress too he was like one of the best uh, players in poker especially in serbia and doing quite well in the world as well so he started teaching me poker and after a few months i started actually <laughs> learning more money than ever really yeah, I, yeah, it went yeah. well yeah, I was doing really well, but uh, I was more grinding. I never gave myself a chance to compete with the pros. I was like, basically, I was smurfing. <laughs> I was like uh, going for the weaker games where I can cash out easily, go for the weaker players instead of like competing with the best. So it's a hard game. Like in Age of Empires, when you lose the game, you lose points. Here, when you lose the game, you lose a lot of money. So you prefer to play weaker players and just take the money and go celebrate. Right. So I thought I for some reason thought like maybe you got burned out or tired of Age of Empires. I didn't know you actually had a, a hand injury. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe like yeah. you should insure your hands because that's like your literal money <laughs> source. Yeah, not a bad idea, right? Now knowing my life, it's not impossible to happen again. Um, you said, I know in, in another interview, you said, um, play the, sorry, where was it? Play the player and not the sieve. And I thought that was very interesting in like a poker sense as well, right? Unless you were just yeah, yeah, shooting yeah. that at it, just said that randomly. <laughs> yeah, that's actually perfect for poker. Yeah, in the poker, you, you, it doesn't matter the cards. Like in 1,000 games, we always get the equal number of aces and whatever, all the same cards. It's how you use them and against which player, position, and it's a lot of strategy. <laughs> Poker is a strategy game, so that's why it suits me well as well. Yeah, I was trying to find like similarities between Poker and, and um, AoE, and another one that I can think of is, I would imagine since, since you've played so many games and you kind of know every situation, in your head you could probably calculate like win percentages based on where you are in the game. Want to get as good as doubt? Well, you're gonna need some help. Head over to GamerLegion.gg for some expert coaching to improve your AoE skills. They have highly skilled, world-class players ready to help you step up your game and avoid those doubt castles. Interested in other games? No problem, Gamer Legion has you covered. They offer expert coaching in games like Warzone, Rocket League, Counter-Strike, and much more. Link can be found in the description of the video. Not to win percentage, Maybe not percentages, yeah. but like in the uh, ballpark, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, obviously I know where I am. I know what will happen in the next five, ten minutes, and um, that's probably where Doubt Castles come into the play as well. Like I know if I don't make a big move, I will lose the game, and the big move is usually with the forward castle. And if it goes up, I get the opportunity to come back in the game. Right. It's just like in poker, you go for a bigger bluff, or I don't know, you go for yeah, yeah, yeah. something that it seems completely doesn't make sense to throw them off, right? Yeah, What's yeah, the equivalent yeah. of that in AOE besides Doubt Castles? Is there anything else like? Uh, what did you say? What's the equivalent of that, like, besides Doubt Castles? Is there any other, like, you show them the archer and then you, I don't know, you have scout? I don't know. I, I'm trying to think of what else you can do in that sense to really bluff. In the Age of Empires? Yeah. Well, uh, you... I had similar games in tournaments. Like, if you're fully walled and you have tricky civils like Saracens, for example, he doesn't know what to expect. With Saracens and market abuse, you can do whatever you want. So if you hide behind the walls, he will never figure out what you're doing. So you can either go kill archers, crossbow, knights, siege in front of his base with the monks, and uh, I had some really good success with that. That's what something that uh, Tato loves to do as well. But uh, you need to walk quite early, and late the game is that figured out that you even can tell what the enemy is doing with Sartans even. Right. I think the devs were also really trying hard to, like, kind of n not nerf walls but make him not like in every part of every game and it seems like aoe always adapts to make the walls work is there any way to remove walling or is walling fundamentally no. built into the game 
you, you have to wall. If you don't wall, you absolutely lose the game. I would not recommend for the new players to wall because uh, you want to learn the game by controlling the units, not being safe behind the walls. But at the top level, you if you're not walled, you're dead. <laughs> like then you're following enemy army whole game and he's making the moves and basically he attacks you with less units. You need to follow that with the big group because you need to kill them. You cannot send exactly the same amount. He always got the hill to run away. And because he chases with more units, he can come back with a small group on the other side. <laughs> and that that's like a never-ending circle, and eventually you will just lose the game. That's how I lose most of my games. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I feel you. <laughs> Hello, thank you so much for watching the clip all the way to the end. Soon I'd like to do a solo podcast to tell you guys a bit more about myself. So here are some topics I came up with that I hope you'd be interested in. How I became the top 4,000 ranked StarCraft 2 player in the world, how I got Stipe on the pod, how to make viral videos, how to change careers, why I'm moving to Spain, why engineering jobs suck, and why I don't want this to be an AoE only podcast. And if you have any questions you want to ask me, I'd love to invite you to our Discord. I'm rebuilding it, and originally it was a FIFA Discord. Now I want it to be a community around the podcast where people can come and talk to each other and learn from each other. And I just want people to have a good time in my Discord. If you're interested, links down below.